It was loud and it was fast in Bristol, baby, so let's dive right in. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. Fans and drivers were feeling the short track this weekend, tweeting about the excitement that only the last great Coliseum can provide. Kicking things off, it was the Truckers on Thursday night. First time Bristol winner Johnny Sauter battled John Hunter and Nemechek well into the final hour. Sauter led 58 laps while Nemechek led 104. On lap 177, the number eight passed Sauter and put on a lengthy lead, but fuel pickup issues slowed Nemechek down and allowed Sauter to pass and pick up his fifth victory of the season. Runner-up Stuart Friesen was still ecstatic after the race thanks to all the action. That was probably the most fun I've had all year, uh, bumping and grinding, and uh, no better guys to race with there, John Hunter and uh, Johnny. Short tracks and adrenaline seem to go hand in hand, and the drivers certainly love it. It was Friday, and a new winner was crowned in Xfinity. Just kidding. Kyle Larson continued to showcase his dominance, clinching his fourth win in six starts this season. But Justin Allgaier, last week's winner, wasn't going to go down without a fight. Larson led the race after the overtime restart on lap 309, but spun his tires in the top lane, allowing a neck-and-neck -neck struggle to begin with Allgaier. Larson surged forward, and series leader Christopher Bell passed Allgaier to take second. Early on in the race on lap 70, Kyle Busch had to retire due to a broken front suspension, leaving the field a little thinner and maybe a little easier. From there, Larson swept the first two stages and took home more than the usual trophy. Looks like Larson is ready to fight some battles off the track. It is a Coliseum, though, right? Before we get to the big show, let's check out the Ford Hall Fans Fan of the Week. My name is Douglas Sargent. Wake up. We are the Ford Fans, Fans of the, of the week. week. Grew up uh, about 100 miles from here, so got to watch Bristol kind of grow as it went. Left for about 25 years, but have came back here, you know, continuously over those years. Always come back to see the races. I've lived here for <laughs> most of my life. Saw the track, been to almost every race. Been doing this for uh, about five years now coming up. But I was a big fan of uh, Rusty Wallace many, many years ago, and then once Rusty retired, had to look for a new driver, but just couldn't get away from that Miller Lite Ford. So, well, dodged the time now Ford. Stuck with it, and as the drivers changed, I just stayed with the car. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fame. You can win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. And on Saturday night, Bush took it home. And no, not the Bush you're thinking of. Kurt Bush, self-declared old guy, took the checkered flag in his first victory since the 2017 Daytona 500. The race started off with a bang when brother Kyle Busch got smack in the middle of a 15-car wreck. Despite the number 18 looking like a car at the end of a Fast and Furious movie, Kyle came back to finish 20th. Kurt Busch took the lead from teammate Clint Boyer on a lap 478 restart, but another restart on lap 488 gave Kyle Larson the right kick as he charged into second place and tried but ultimately failed to overtake the number 41. Bush won by .367 seconds, taking his sixth victory at Bristol and 30th of his career. When you race at a short track on Saturday night, it brings back all the memories of growing up as a kid and racing with your dad and your family. And I didn't want to let my dad down. He's here tonight, and my wife said, go out there and go get him, show what it's all about. Looks like the Gladiators came to play in Bristol, and there was never a dull moment. That's it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week as the truckers go international and the Xfinity Series hits Wisconsin.